I'm Tom Gregory. Welcome back to Outside the Huddle on CST. For the first time since 2011, when the Saints can't move from the Gulf Coast to the West Coast for practice in California, fans have had to travel to see the black and gold get ready for some football. While that may have been some bad news for some, as Paul Boron reports, the team's decision to head to the hills of Greenbrier has made some old and new fans very happy. Yes, the stands are a little emptier than they are in Metairie, but the scenery in West Virginia certainly more than makes up for it. This trip to the venerable Greenbrier Resort has given the Saints a chance to gain some new followers from folks who have never had a chance to see a pro team in person. Did you ever think you'd uh, see an NFL team training in your backyard? Not in West Virginia, no. <laughs> so what's it like? It's nice. The facilities are very nice, and it's just great to have somebody here. While most locals either root for the Steelers, Redskins, or Ravens, this area is also home to fans who, for one reason or another, just became Houdats. And this is their first chance ever to see their heroes. It's a dream come true. It's a dream come true. I'm enjoying myself. What was your reaction when you heard that this was gonna happen. I thought it was a joke. I thought somebody was playing a joke on me and I didn't, uh, didn't really appreciate it until I found out it was true. So I was really excited. The three week stint at the Greenbrier Resort is not only an opportunity to expose the Saints to a new audience, it's also a chance for longtime followers who have relocated here to see their beloved black and gold. Bless you boys! Woo! Woo! It's amazing, it's amazing, amazing to get, get this see. close, yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. It is a dream come true, to be honest with you. Um, I've been a lifelong Saints fan, and this is, this is I don't know, I I'm, I'm feel like I'm a dream still. So while camp here at the Greenbrier is a dream come true for displaced two dads, for the Saints fans who drove up from southern Louisiana, it's a chance to emulate their heroes and do something new. I mean, this is really nice. The weather out here is great in the view, so... This is cool. Something different, though. You kind of wish now that uh, they'd done this a long time ago? Yeah, a little bit. If this one's at the Super Bowl, I'll come here every year. <laughs> I don't mind that. Yeah, I live in Blacksburg right now, so okay. we saw this, and I'm, uh, yeah, it's really cool. The view's a little bit different than Airline Drive, so <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Who that Nation, all the way. Got to check out the new digs. So what's your impression? Very impressed. Everybody up here is really nice. Facilities first class. And the weather's not too bad either. Ooh. <laughs> what is it, about 75 degrees right now, sunny, no chance of rain? I thought it was nice it, we can come see them. It's yeah, really cool. It was fun. I think the trip was really fun up here. It's worth it no matter what. It's definitely worth it. So this residency at the Greenbrier is a new experience for all. And so far, it's thumbs up all around. Who did? <laughs> at the Greenbrier, Paul Boron for Outside the Huddle. There are Saints fans everywhere. So how do you, Saints fan, distinguish yourself among the multitude? What makes you a true who dat or a true dat? You answered this question correctly. It's Outside the Huddle's Who Dat? Question of the Week.